What's going on, folks? It is K Spade, the prospect, the leader of the Wolf Pack in YouTube's best kept secret. I am back today with a brand new Finn's Chies episode. That's right, this is my Miami Dolphins Madden 17 franchise mode. Now, in the last video, you guys saw my Dolphins take a bit of a stumble, man. We boosted this difficulty up from what is it, like all pro? We went from all pro to all Madden. I still feel like we played pretty well, but in the end, man, we really couldn't move the ball. Like, defensively, we did a pretty good job against the Rams, but we could not move the ball. This week, it should be a little bit easier for us. We are at home. We're taking on the San Francisco 49ers. I showed you the stats of Blaine Gabbert, who has twice as many interceptions as touchdowns. So, I mean, with our defense, I feel like we're going to be okay. Now, I know. I know the rules. You can't really count your chickens before the eggs hatch, all that other good stuff. But I feel pretty good. Let's get down on the field. Let's see what the hell is going on. To my surprise, San Fran came out. Now, you know how they do it in the NFL, right? The first few plays, sometimes the first entire first drive is scripted. They got these plays called. I don't know who drew these joints up, but they moving the ball. They look well. To my surprise, they was moving the ball on the ground in gashes. They was probably picking up about eight a pop on the ground. They were so confident. They was letting Blaine Gabbert run. And this little slippery rascal right here was getting away from people. Right here, Cam Wake got him in his hands. I was like, choke slam this dude. Batista bombed this boy. But couldn't. He got through everybody. And on third and short, they punch it in. They get into the end zone to kind of set the tone for today's football game. 7-0 San Fran. Now, the only reason why I'm not going to panic is because they ain't seen my offense yet. And I believe we're going to bounce back from that piss poor showing that we had in the last game. The first carry, the first offensive play of the game for the Dolphins looked good. Till you looked around and saw that dirty laundry on the field. That happened so much. I got another look at it. I'm not so sure that's a legal block in the back. I kind of, I feel like he got him on that shoulder pad. He got him on the side. You know, they already somewhat hating on us. They back us up. First and 12. We come right back. We throw a strike to our slot receiver, Kenny Steele. That's going to be a first and 10. We move the chain. We had so much fun and so much success through the air. We're going to stick to it. Ryan Tannehill's got a pretty good young receiving core out here. These dudes got speed. I mean, if you look at the way they break down, they got a little bit of everything. You got route running and Jarvis Landry along with hands. You got height and jumping in Devontae Parker, also speed. And you got speed with Kenny Stills. This play right here was crazy. That pass was not to Devontae Parker. That pass was to the tight end, Jordan Cameron. Devontae, if you're going to jump up and catch a pass that ain't coming to you, you damn better hold on to it. He jumps up. He catches the pass. He gets hit, and he fumbles. You can tell. I, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it wasn't going to you, Devontae. It wasn't. Devontae puts the pill on the turf. The Dolphins moved the ball easy, yo. We was about to punch it in. We was about to tie the game up. Instead, we turned the ball over, and we are we giving San Fran the ball, but they got a long field. In my defense, we got to respond. We're not going to come out here the same way we did on that first drive. Second and ten, we got to get some pressure on Blaine. Now, I know Blaine Gabbard is not a great quarterback, but damn. You cannot let him sit back there forever, which is what he's doing. Third and short, man, I thought we had a great defensive play call. He found a little hole in the defense, and he exposed us. First and ten. They got another third down situation. Look at the time in the pocket, yo. Now, keep in mind, we got Mario Williams. We got um, Indomitian Sue. We got Cam Wake. That's no slouch of a defensive line up there. And we flat out couldn't get to him until right here. On second and six, the pressure gets to Blaine, and Blaine does what he's been doing all season. He threw the ball to the wrong damn team. Beautiful. Our rookie cornerback right there comes up with the big-time interception. And on second and five, Miami offense out there looking at Ryan Tannehill. Okay, Ryan. Don't forget, y'all. Ryan got some pass as a wide receiver. He's not a statue out there. He can move when we need him to. This play right here is huge. If this ain't Adam Gase's offense, I don't know what is. Big time screenplay. Arian Foster, one of the best receiving out of the backfield running backs that I've seen with a huge pickup, almost 70 yards on the play. Ryan almost threw it too far, but actually, it's a good throw because he kind of put him away from the defense, set him up, but all he had to do was turn around, run straight. Also, kudos to the big heavies who got out there and, you know, Chip got a block here and there. Beautiful. Inside the five-yard line, Jay Ajayi gets subbed in. He's bouncing off of 49ers. Jay had won this starting job for a minute, y'all. Don't forget. Arian Foster came back and took it from him, but Jay Ajayi gets into the end zone right here. Finally, folks, 
seven to seven. The Dolphins are on the board. To me, the game don't start until now. I don't even care what they did before this. We are here now. We're in the end zone. Seven seven. Let's go. Look at Jay. Jay, you're gonna be all right if we don't injure you in the celebration. So we go into the half. Even though this game started a little weird for us, we go into the half knotted up at seven apiece. Now I'm gonna show you another reason why I am not concerned. For one, we got 150 passing yards at the half and really everything we tried to do is work. Also, we get it back to start the third. Why don't we pick up right there, Ryan Tannehill. We got a mismatch in the slot, man. Kenny Stills is a straight speedster, yo. He is routing up this back over here, this cornerback, this nickelback, whatever the hell you want to call him. He in trouble. Jordan Cameron is kind of doing a little bit of work too. Running underneath, the play call is phenomenal. Check this out right here. They try to press Devontae Parker on the edge. You really can't do that. Beautiful look, Ryan Tannehill saw the mismatch, instantly knew he was the high read, threw it to the perfect spot. Devontae did the rest. He gets off the press, takes off running, and it ain't no catching. I told you, like, he's got speed, he's got height, he can jump. The jump balls are his. You just saw in the last, uh, you know, earlier in the game, he jumped ball the pass that wasn't even going to him. So that is something that we really feel like we can exploit. And every single time I see them try to press, I'm going to look and make sure it's not a safety over the top. And if it's not, we going to Devontae. You can go ahead and write that down now. You can take that to the bank. Now, we got to do something about this. Can't have the 49ers out here running the ball all willy-nilly. And that's pretty much what they're doing right now. Second and short, and this was making me feel some kind of way too. I said Blaine Gabbard is not going to keep running on my defense. Beautiful play right here. If I'm not mistaken, that's a cornerback. Yeah, that's Chris Culliver. Come up, stuck Blaine. Blaine put the pill on the turf. The fans recover. We get a score here, man. It's smooth selling. It's smooth selling. Third and inches, man. We rushing them back to the line. I like it. Still in that shotgun formation. We've been eating with the pass, so you throw a little run in there. You might catch him off guard. Arian Foss is not having a great day on the ground in terms of running the football. It's just tough to block on all Madden. They, they kind of doing what they want to do. But we saw a press on the outside again. And let me tell you what the common denominator is. This guy, Brock, number 26. If they press this guy, he's barbecue chicken. He's smoked turkey. He's a burnt toast. And whatever the hell you want to call a person who messed up, that's what he is. Another beautiful throw delivered by Ryan Tannehill. It actually was a little bit behind Jarvis Landry, but it was in front of Brock, which is all we needed it to be. 21-7 fans. We look great. First and 10. Look at Blaine. Blaine, you so trash. You so trash. This is going to be easy. This is the game we needed. On second down, Blaine Gabbard steps up in the pocket. He's going to run again, but he ain't too dumb. He slides. Because you're going to keep running into the fans, bruh. And you're going to end up leaving this game on a cart. Trust me. Third down, man. I felt like we had him right where we wanted him. Quick slant. Great play call. Great pass. First and 10 for San Fran. They're going to move the chains. They go play action, which should be working because the running backs have been gashing the defense all day long. Nice little comeback route. Look at the Niners. Look at the Niners. On first and 10, they try to go to that screenplay. We not having that. We ain't in the, uh, you know, stage and poetry. Like, we ain't into that. Ain't no screenplay. No. Kiko Alonso on the tackle would be injured. He would leave the game. The report would say that he has a torn shoulder. It's crazy. I was telling you guys earlier. Look at this little guy. Is that Jaquiz Rogers? Who is that? I don't even know who the hell that is. I was telling you guys earlier, man. Kiko Alonso is a beast. San Fran gets in the end zone. They score right here. The big play kind of hurt us. But the only knock on Kiko has been injury. He got a real good relationship with the injury bug. They go back like four flats. And they came and hollered at him again. So we got to check and see how long Kiko's going to be gone for. But he's been our most consistent backer, hands down. He's the best backer for us so far this season. It's really going to hurt not having him. Now, keep in mind, we still already are missing Byron Maxwell. They still pressing over there, y'all. They still pressing. You cannot press this guy, Devontae Parker. Smokes this guy, Brock, again. Brock, you're going to be all over Sports Center for all the wrong reasons. This is worse than when they was picking on Rivas. Every time we look over there and we see a press, we picking on this kid. And every time we come back with his lunch money. 
every single time. 28-14 is the score. We're here in the fourth quarter, man. I, I really want to see a stop. I want my defense to get a stop right here. You know all Madden, they get magical in the fourth quarter. You can expect the BS, but I think we straight. Third and short, that's what I want to see. Gabbert missing a wide open target. Let's get up out of here. But on fourth down, they elect to go for it. The pressure is on, and look at this right here. Beautiful. I hate to give him a compliment, but first of all, Chip got big balls to go for it. We sent the blitz. We was right at Blaine Gabbert. He just checked it off. They end up picking up a first. You see right here, they get over that yellow line again. Here we go. Second and fifth. Gabbert takes a strike to the corner of the end zone on second down, and it don't work. Third down, he comes back, basically throws the exact same play. This time it's double coverage, and Torrey Smith somehow comes down with the reception. I have no idea how he was able to make this catch. I don't know. I mean, I just don't know. I got a free safety over there. I got a cornerback over there. I don't know, man. You get another look at it. It's just a hell of a catch. Okay, Torrey, I see you. But it still ain't enough time on the clock. But check this out. We come out to run, but they pressing Parker. And what did I say we was going to do? Every time I saw this, we picking on Brock. So forget Chew and Clock. We picking on Brock. Big dog. Big nuts. Woo, woo. We drop back. Taylor Hill throws it. He kind of got hit on the throw. Couldn't put it out far enough, and we throw a pick. This is that play where at the end of the game, everybody goes, why didn't you just run it? Because that had worked 100% of the time prior to this. It worked every time, y'all. Every time. Still, we need the defense to give us a little something. It's only a minute, defense. Just, you know, hold them to a field goal. Stop them. Get a pick. Force a fumble. I don't care. Poke somebody in the eye. Let's just get up out of this game before all Madden, you know, do what they do. San Fran, on the other hand, they, they loving this, this momentum. Now, we've been seeing... Uh, Blaine Gabbert missed passes all day, but here we go. Late in the fourth, this man's surgical. He looked like Joe Mundam Tanner back there for the San Francisco 49ers. He gets him inside the red zone. It's about 30 seconds on the clock. Look, no pressure. We can't get to him. Finally, Big and Dominican Sue put some pressure on him late. He's able to deflect that pass down. Third and goal. Look at this. Still, look at the time he got. Are you serious? He gets the pass off. We bring the guy down, shy of the end zone. They go no huddle. It's fourth and goal. Ain't no spike the ball play. They got to go. I like where we at right here. Or so I thought. Quick little dot to the tight end on the quick move. That's kind of my fault, too. I was using the backer. I wasn't sure if he was going out. It kind of looked like that one play. I'm having a brain fart. But we, we get bailed out. We get bailed out. It is an offensive holding flag. We back him up to about the 15-yard line. We give Gabbard another chance, and he finds another receiver in the back of the end zone wide the hell open. I wasn't sure if he was able to get both feet in. We tried the challenge. We couldn't. We're going to an extra quarter of football simply because I ain't want to just chew the clock because the mess that worked for the entire game won't work on all Madden in the fourth quarter. Note taken. I wrote it down. Cool. We win the toss. We got the ball. Let's get up out of here. Let's do what we do. Third and short. Check me out right here. It's cover two. I see it. I try to get it over to Devontae. That's a huge play for Antoine Bethea. But they was over there. I saw him. It was a cover two, though. You know how you get it in between the zone on the cover two. Can't wait, so don't even worry about it, though, Spade. We got you. Huge sack on Blaine Gabbert. Not only is Gabbert sacked for a million-yard loss, Gabbert fumbles, and after the play, Gabbert is hurt. This looks serious. He's grabbing at his leg. I think he grabbed at both of his knees. Both of them shits might be broke. All we got to do at this point is get a field goal to get the dub. Both teams have had a possession in overtime, so a field goal will win us the game. But you know us. We want to get as close as we can get. Arian Foster gets us inside the 10-yard line. We send the field goal unit on. They call timeout. Chip wants to ice the kicker. And this is crazy because the kick meter starts disappearing. But we get the kick up. The kick is good, regardless of how ugly this is going to look. They're going to question that at audible late in the game all day. It don't matter. We still get the win. I'm not even mad that I threw the, the one pick because it, it, it really had worked every single time, y'all. You got to understand. I looked over there and I saw that press. I said, here we go again. But anyway, folks, that is all I got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, 
show your love by banging the like button. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Become a member of the notification squad too because YouTube does a shitty job of letting you know when I've uploaded a video. But that's all I got for today, folks. Catch you on the next one, alright? Peace.